what's up guys welcome back starfield uh i am in the vessel system and i found this space station Hail acknowledged. System damage critical. yeah so i consider my interest peaked uh, as you guys can see i did a little bit of updating to the ship and now we're going to see what's going on with the star uh, the space station here Maybe it's got aliens on it. Could be like a xenomorph layer. We have a clean dock, right on the money. I did find a new shotgun, and it is pretty lit. It's a shoddy. I don't know why the animation is bugged, but it is. But it's an elemental shoddy. more med packs on death and randomly deals corrosive radiation poison and incendiary damage i think overall that's pretty good and i think it's a refined so it's a little bit more powerful than a standard shotgun right, bosco captain baker hello I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Yes, my most recent sleep cycle. Speaking of sleep cycles, my last sleep cycle was not very good. I just freaking slept like a freaking fish out of water. Did not sleep at all. Uh, and now it's 9 o'clock in the evening of the next night, and here I am playing Starfield instead. Okay. Bosco? That's Bosco. We have lost them. As you can see, the shotgun pretty much melts. So we got Give me the treatments, please. Uh, how is it possible there's no epinephrine on board? We lost Mr. Reese to uh, anaphylaxis caused by allergic reaction to something he ate, and we just couldn't do anything about it. Losing someone to something so trivial in this day and age. This cannot happen again. I will be putting him in order for a complete restock of our medical supplies, as well as taking a complete inventory of everything on board this station myself. Come to think of it, I made sure that the all meal replicators are well aware of any allergies in their programming. I need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Does that say NASA? It says NASA. Pretty sure that's supposed to be NASA. Hold on. Helium-3 dispenser. Wait. What is with this guy? Alright, what do we got? 
what do we got going on here? Lots of stuff. Vacuum tape. Or in we as we call in the real world, duct tape. Another freaking combat knife. Again with all these weapons of things I will never use. Had an advanced Kraken on it. Oh, that guy's level 50. Reloaded. Uh, let's try this. This is why I'm starting to save. Like, before I kill people with, like, that are, like, mini bosses, because I'm sorry. I should be getting better stuff from a level 50. And I'm getting, like, grip shanks and freaking outfits like that. Like, come on, man. Like,. This is ridiculous. I'm going for help. Ah! I'm going for help. An acrobat's deep recon space suit. You know, I am looking for a better spacesuit, but that's not it. I'm going for help. I'm going for help. All right, I might be here a while, guys. Alright guys, I finally found something I'm interested in, uh, uh, Frenzy Calibrated Negotiator.
bashing deals double damage doesn't matter but the it's got corrosive and a small chance of uh, frenzy and it's a uh, calibrated so it's a little bit stronger than the standard standard so you know it's like like I was saying like if the lower level guys should definitely drop the blue maybe purple maybe but the level 50 guys someone th that guy is 15 levels higher than I am and he drops trash again this is the end game uh, or the end of the station loot right here and I get a freaking combat knife like that's just crap a modified micro gun How many rounds do I have? Dude, I bet I could blow through 1,600 rounds of ammo in about five seconds. I only got one digipick left. All I want to save it for... Commander Keep. I uh, probably want to save it for... If we find anything else... Emergency kit. I more or less breeze through that part. Dude, this thing melts. Gravity paradigm. just distributed the latest official firmware update for our automated workers and I have to admit that I'm already feel everything running a little smoother the manufacturer claims a 27.6% increase in efficiency but apparently that can be improved with some software tweaks at least that's what this new intern is claiming now I don't have any reason to suspect them but this incredible performance claim is a little off-putting. The credentials are in order, and I've ran all the necessary background checks and came across no red flags. If I'm to allow uh, this young man or this young programmer to run their custom software, they may finally be able to focus on our work unimpeded by menial tasks. Obviously, this will need to be kept hush hush, but our scientists and lab workers will benefit greatly. Positron battery. Yeah, no, this gun is what the minigun in Fallout should have been. Here. Ah. Good thing I held off on this, isn't it?
Alright, so if I do that... Let's try that. Okay. Pirates, come on out. Although, I wish this had a spin up button. <laughs> you want to finish that? Because that was a full on headshot. Get over, and then poof, dead. Oof, dead. Really see anything else in here. I was really hoping there was more to this place. Captain Baker, it is Uh, whoops. You know, so I upgraded my ship, like I said, um, I've got my EMP missiles on here, I think these are missiles, I don't know, it's really hard to tell, but, um, yeah, they, um, they take a while to, Yeah, they kind of take a while, so... And then... Alright, so I don't really have anything else planned. I just wanted to go to that space station. The Sonder. I was really hoping it would be something else, but... Alright, let's see where this guy's at. Mithras, Moon of... What system is... Olympus. And it's a kind of a low-level system. Alright, we, I guess we could keep going... We could just keep going with this. Uh, before we do anything, though, we need to stop by Wolf and dump inventory I got a fish bowl Let's see what we got going on. And we are locked in. Okay. How can I be of service, Captain? Was there something you needed? Yes, of course. All right. Alright, I guess now I gotta wait. Honestly, 
the freaking uh, vendors in this game need to have way more credits than they have. Like, it, this isn't Fallout where finding actual things of value is very hard to come by. You know, this game has a lot of things that you can make a lot of money real fast on. And the vendors should really reflect that. Because otherwise, you have to do this. And this gets really old really fast. Now, I guess it comes back to, would I rate Starfield as a 10 out of 10? No, absolutely not. It's got issues. It's got some major issues. But with that said, I would say this is a uh, probably 8, maybe an 8.5. I really, really enjoy this game. It's been a long time since I've had a game that I've enjoyed this much. You know. But... Even with all of its issues, this game is still pretty good. And when you guys hear me complain about something in the game, it's because I actually really enjoy the game and I want it to uh, succeed. Despite all the haters out there, and there are a lot of them. And there's also a lot of fanboys out there who would say this is a perfect game and, and to hell with them too. You know, I mean, what it comes down to is, do I think I got my money's worth? Well, let's just put it this way. I am sitting at 84 hours in this game, okay? It's the 18th. This game went live 12 days ago, okay? Like, holy crap. I try not to trade in gossip, but like, you have any verifiable that's a lot of time. Now, in fairness, I did have it on the first, so technically... I've had 18 days to get 84 hours, so it's not as bad as it sounds, but, Certainly. but you know, I mean, my point being is that I wouldn't play a game that I hate. You know, that's why I don't get a lot of these people who who get like a hundred some odd hours into the game and then say, oh, well, this was a terrible game. Well, if it was a terrible game, why did you spend a hundred hours in it? Like, come on. Don't you have better things to do than, than gripe? Like, it, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. All right, let's go. Twelve hours. You know, they could really adjust this to be a little bit less of a hassle. authority good to see you certainly all right let's go and continue on with our quest you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple of all right let's 
let's see here. Idle locked planets and moons always keep something. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please. I just want to point out that I've got a freaking minigun and I'm just running through town. Skill point. Okay, what was it that I wanted to work on next? You know, honestly, I probably should put points into here let's do that one um i probably should put some more points into these two just haven't really gotten around to it I'm so glad. Ooh, that was lightning. What? I'm so confused. I I, I could have sworn it pointed up there. Subsection seven. hard time believing that all these doors would be like these freaking you know space sealed okay so this guy's like under house arrest A guy who couldn't afford a place with a view, clearly. Hmm. No, I suppose not. I'm Francois Fanon. Oh, you know, the guy that was supposed to be this. dead? I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable. To simply discard so they put me here a sacrifice on the altar of peace even my death served the colonies i want to help you and my progeny hadrian prevent more attacks Though I am curious, has she shared with you the nature of our 
little family. Yeah, more or less. Not every day I get a chance to work with a man living in a fish tank. It was an attempt by the United Colonies to solidify its own legacy. Forging a new generation of great leaders. They were raised by adoptive families made up of scholars and tacticians. Trained at the United Colonies' greatest scientific and military academies. Displayed incredible promise. But... By the time the colony war came to a close, there was only Hadrian. But that's ancient history now. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. Go on. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up, though I would ask you. Do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. Captain, your files indicate a track record of unlikely successes. It is my genuine hope that, perhaps down the line, you might become a part of our team. And this... Might be something of a tryout. You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, okay. Um, this is kind of a tough one. Because on one hand, this is kind of like dealing with the Nazis at the end of World War II. Uh, on the one hand, if he's as big of a doucher as this guy's saying he is, he should die. But on the other hand, who might have passed judgment on this guy when I don't even know him? If that's what you require to sleep at night... According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Well, Wolf system, eh? star station in the vicinity. The den. The head of the wolf. Wow, okay. So that's somebody I know. Identity verified. You may proceed to the 
Alright, let's go talk to Interstellar Affairs right quick. Yes, what? Captain, did your uh, meeting... <laughs> There's an executed war criminal in your basement. Captain, please, keep your voice down. <laughs> the situation with the prisoner is a complex one. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly... And the most critical part of that management is making sure... The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. And she's certain... Which is why I need you... I'll keep Good. it to myself. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain. And that's not a good look for any of us. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's... Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question, but bringing him to justice, he's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. Or what's... Really? He found the members of... We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and man... Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But this is far from the first name he's handed over in all previous. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, the den. It's yeah, a I kind of already know that. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. Alright, so I guess it's a good thing I've got EMP weapons now. It looks like I might actually get to buy them out, too. Do I have any weapons I can use to capture people? I think I may have thrown that EM weapon away. That one we got from the Terramorph. I didn't think I was going to be on a capture mission. Um, let's just see here. Um, go to Centurion Arsenal. Maybe they have a, maybe they'll have some like less than lethal weapons i don't know if i necessarily need anything like that but it might be good to have especially since i threw away my oh i thought that said centurion that's a centurion Sales are up significant. Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. All sales are final, but please take. Okay. I think we need EM, right? There's energy. see anything maybe I oh crap what did I just do 
Did I just buy something? If I can convert one of these to being less than lethal. Make it magnetic beams. Uh, is that? I need adhesive, beryllium, and freaking isocentric or isocenter uh, centered magnets. Which I've got, but then I've got to go and do magazine and battery mods, which I don't have. And I don't know if I have it on my boat either. Yes, I called my spaceship a boat. Old habits die hard. This... I think I left the workshop intact on here. I think I put... I'm sure this is the captain's quarters. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. This is a beautiful place, don't you think? Yes. This is the infirmary. Oh, here we go. I knew I had one on here somewhere. Alright, so what do I need? I need adhesive. Where the hell do you get adhesive from? Let me look it up. You'd think picking up freaking duct tape would count. Jameson's Mercantile. Alright, let's go check out Jameson's Mercantile and see if we can get some that way. Greetings, Captain. Alright, now we gotta figure out where that's at. Aye, aye. Sergeant Yumi, more work. Got it. Okay. No Spaceport. So it's here somewhere. I wonder if the distribution... Is this the district? No, that's security office. So where's the mercantile? Is that it? There it is. So it says you can buy eleven adhesive here. Hope you're. I know we're safe now, but I'm still. Oh, please take a. All right. Dang, I could buy a decent amount of stuff here. Definitely need the tungsten, the titanium. It's got an hour or a magnifying glass. I'm I'm buying it. 
I know I'm going to need it. Except for the iron. I didn't need that. Copper. Don't need that. I really don't need those either. There. Appreciate the business. Oh come on! Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, how come? Uh, how come they can sit on a bench, but I can't? Oops. So one local hour is two hours. Now I'm pretty sure all the stores change based on uh, universal time. So should only have to do this once. I was just thinking, they should have a freaking perk, or a trait, or whatever, or background, I don't remember what they call it, but they should have one where you're a comedian. You start out as a comedian with all the, with all the lines and stuff, you can't I... turn anything into a joke. There's a bit more in the back, if... oh, please, pick up. Don't need... Need copper, do need iron, don't need take the nickel, palladium, take the sealant, take the tungsten, take that. No titanium this time, okay. Thanks, it, and I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much. If it weren't for him, I don't know where. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. There's still damage from the Xenomorphs or whatever, the Terramorphs. Uh, it looks like they got it all cleared off. Good day, Captain Baker. Greetings. I will happily. Any notes? Goodbye, Captain. All right, let's see if we can finish anything here. What was it? Was it magazine and battery mods? No, it was internal mods, right?
Wait, did I need... What did I need for the... Oh, I need magazines and batteries, too! Oh my word, man! Golly! Oh, I had that little store room there. Oh, I'm not even in the right freaking... I'm just trying to figure out what I'm carrying that's causing my weight to be 86 pounds still. Got a ton of those. Wait, trauma packs. What what am I using for health right now? Heart med packs. Here, let's put these on. I wonder if I can put anything on in my other weapons that will make them less lethal. Because I really want to try to finish this quest without killing this guy. I bet they're all going to be the freaking... Oh, that's the least... <laughs> that's uh, the opposite of what I need. Tactical magazine. high velocity or not I thought I could eternal mods too isn't that I don't know anymore oh it can turn it into bull auto which honestly I like bull auto which I can't because again you know, here's the thing Okay, I put so many points into the different weapons crafting and stuff like that. Alright, let's just take a look at this. So, to get weapons engineering. You had to spend three points just to get to this stage. Right here. I've spent, so, I've spent five points just to get here. Okay, wonderful. In order to get the freaking stuff I need to build said mods i had to get outpost engineering so i could get freaking resources to build said mods and by the time i start building said mods i can't build anything interesting at all i have to freaking unlock another rank of it this is in so many ways really frustrating what can i do here
Hold on, how many do I have? All right, which one of these unlocks what? What does this unlock? All right, guys, we didn't get too far into the quest. I'm probably going to spend a little bit more time trying to get the. Oh, OK, I wasn't ex I thought he was going to die. Hope the black sea is free. Bye now. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so let's ignore that that happened. Um, accident in the freaking med bay. Get out of my way, both of you. I had a freaking research station right there. Anyway, I'm going to probably spend a little time flying around just so I can try to get some experience to oh that does that okay I can't tell you how much of a pain it was to get that in that spot I thought it was glued there. Yeah, no, this is pretty much how this goes. There. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and spend some time getting some more, you know, perk points and so I can try this again. Hopefully next episode we can go and find this guy and bring him to justice, I guess. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.